YouTube, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And, oh, gosh darn it. Noxia, no, I should have started earlier. <laughs> the crazies have arrived. Hi, YouTube. Anyways, um, in the last episode, um, I think we started finding our groove. Uh, we're starting to sort of stick to a, a quest not getting as sidetracked. I think it is a side quest. It's the Lucky, Lucky Clover Gazette quest. So we went to one stable, uh, accomplished that. Then I thought that I was gonna get my froggy outfit and then I didn't get my froggy outfit. There is no wow about that. No wow, that was very sad. Um, so we ended up going to the next stable, which is in Hebra, the Hebra region, which is good because that's kind of like where I wanna go for Rito Village. Um, and apparently it's a side quest with the golden horse, which is really fascinating. Oh, I don't know yet. No, God, please, no, no, <laughs> I don't know yet if we can no. keep the horse, but it's actually funny that you played that MJ because I think we have to go fight that three headed dragon thing. Um, because she said there was some monster that the horse ran off to. And I think that's where we're heading. So for today, I, I think I should stop saying we have a plan. We're just going to start off with going to that golden horse side quest and we'll see where the gameplay takes us. I still want to go to Rito village. One day I will make it there, but yeah, let's get right into it. Here we go. This horse looks sick. Not like in a good way. I mean, it like looks sick. <laughs> Look at it looks like mustard. Oh my god, imagine a block fell from the sky and just hit this horse in the face. It's a shiny horse! Its coloring is not very well rendered. Oh, I didn't have to use any elixir. Hell yeah! Oh my goodness. Wait! Oh my god, wait, it's golden golden. Like, that's why it looks like this. It's supposed to be a reflective material. Wow, that's sick. That's pretty cool. Ew, it only has three stamina? That's not very good. Throw a Pokeball. Lucas, how are you? Welcome on in. Mark my words, I will be coming back for that dragon. Honestly, I think I had what, what it takes to fight the dragon, even at my low heart level. I think the answer is on ho horseback with homing arrows. I just need like a better two-handed weapon. You know what would be sick though? If I made like, uh, I've seen people making, uh, fusing like laser beams on their like, uh, flying devices like they're making planes with laser beams and they're like full-on shooting the freaking stuff out of the sky i should do some of those yeah i know mj was on my screen for a minute there shiny ponyta i don't think any of the shi uh shiny pokemon horses are yellow the closest would probably be like mudsdale i think because mudsdale sort of has like a lighter color Got your horse. Oh, look who's finally back home. No dude, new dude to boot it. That is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. I've been worried sick, but now you found it. Eh? Using a metal spike ball to any weapon is OP. Yeah. Yeah, I need a two-handed weapon. Because you can actually spin around and it does like a lot of damage. Humming dear, good morning. How are you? Oh, oh, when did you... Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, just give you a hard... Just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, uh, is it just me? Or has that misplaced pony there gotten kind of attached to you? You give me horse? <sighs> I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really? You'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. <laughs> we get to keep it. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. And in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. Wait. No, I don't want to give it back. It's mine. If that's the case, partner, then you could say no. How could you say no to keeping it? Do it. 
it as a favor for the horse. I can't read. <laughs> Wait, I want you to have this too. The royal bridal. This bridal is well known for being a favorite of the Hyrulean family. Uh, and also, please take this. The royal saddle. Yeah, it's mine now. Ah. Uh, Bridal and saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. You might still be a rookie, but you're every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. I've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Oh, we've worked together. Oh, now maybe I get my froggy gear. Go on, go on and add this to your next to your nest egg, partner. Wow, I'm really struggling today. I apologize. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. A Lucky Clover Gazette fabric. Oh, for my glider. So Hatino's Village Dye Shop in Nakluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know. I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. It would be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. <laughs> Zelda gave, uh, give the horse trauma by leaving it to the, uh, like a 90s kid. It's yours now. <laughs> Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. So long. Wait. There's a shrine right here. Oh, I haven't done the shrine yet. Okay, let's go do the shrine. I didn't even see that shrine there. And that's close to the gazette too, so that's good. Alright. just gotta throw like a little fire at it there we go I still need to find the armor in the cave by where you first meet Hestu Ooh, which armor I don't have a lot of armor right now I've got the barbarian set and like uh, two other things not much though Do you know which armor you're talking about, though? Okay, this is good. This unlocks a little fly point for us as well. I swear to God, if this Tracy chick, a launching device, does not give me some froggy gear, I'm going to be really mad. A launching device. Okay, there's a big button there. And some rockets. Oops. <laughs> Don't we just like launch the rocket? Okay. <laughs> I love the rockets in this game. Oh, yes! Oh, that's... Okay. That's that's this set, I think. I think I talked to, like, a lady just outside of the first town. And she told me... It, she marked some X's on my map. I got one item. Maybe it's the whole Barbarian set. I don't know. I got this one, though. It was Misko's Treasure was the side quest. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It's a roller coaster. Please stop. Please stop. No freaking way. That is so cool. Let's grab this rocket over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's the Misko's treasure one. Yes. I wonder what it, what she gives you, though. Okay, how do rockets work again? So it goes in the direction... So if I want it to go straight, I point it in the direction I want it to go, right? This doesn't seem safe. <laughs> that was great! Oh my gosh. That was cool. I definitely went off the tracks there. More rockets! Oh my god, this is fun. Um... Oh my gosh, I think they want me to launch myself off the track. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. 
We probably need a couple rockets. I don't know. Oh, wait, let's put them on the side. Hold on. Side rockets. <laughs> I'm gonna go flying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> um, this is great. Perfect. <laughs> that was so fun. Wait, I didn't get a treasure chest in this shrine. Oh, that's weird. Usually there's a treasure chest in every shrine. Oh, unless it was here? Oh, that's kind of weird, huh? Wazzy, thank you for the roses. I appreciate it. Isn't that so weird? How come the... Uh... I didn't get a treasure chest. There was one in here? I feel like there's one in every shrine, but I didn't see the chest in here. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure it was nothing like that crazy. I mean, I hope it wasn't anything important. I don't know. I don't think I saw the chest. All right, Tracy, you stupid wench. Give me my froggy gear. <laughs> I hate this girl. Hello, Link. Working hard at such a late hour. Good God. Ah. Should have named it 24. Why 24? 24K? Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> is this tears? Of it is, Johnny. It is. Welcome on in. Hmm. Let's see. Right now, he should be canvassing at Dueling Peak Stable over in West Nakluta. In southeastern Hyrule, uh, the Yiga clan recently sent the paper a statement concerning Princess Zelda, you uh, see. It definitely shook me at first, but then I reminded myself that I could just be a bunch of hot air. Regardless, I asked Penn to figure out if it was true or not. Uh, Readers all over Hyrule have their eyes and ears peeled for any information about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. The Lucky Clover Gazette is equally eager and is happy to help however it can. Okay. Um, that was a nice story. I'll take the pants, please. Actually, you know, I'll take the shirt. Actually, you know what? I'll take the hat. I'll take the hat. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. I am aware that this is good. I am aware. You worked with Penn to get to the bottom of the rumors about Princess Zelda. And I'll give you the froggy armor piece by piece. Lovely. I did two stories. Ma. Are you kidding? I hate Tracy. Take that. Stupid woman. Give me the fucking froggy gear! I'm so mad! Oh! That's the wetland stable one. Oh, we can do this one. It seems that Princess Zelda borrowed a stable farm tools and hasn't returned them. Pen has some wild notions about why she needs such. Uh, apparently Isra, who looks after the stable's raft, might have more details. Oh, okay, we can fly there. Okay, that's part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. So let's do that. That's right here. Perfect. That's part of the side quest. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy because, like, I mean, I could unlock all the towers and I could just do, like, the whole Lucky Clover thing. It brings me to all the regions, but then I find it's going to unlock, like, so many side quests because I'm going to all these different regions that I might start to get like overwhelmed. So I kind of want to like tackle the Hebra region first sort of thing. But anyways, let's see where this leads us. So we got to talk to Isra. Oh, there he is. Perfect. I mean, really, why? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? 
Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper, right? Ah. I didn't want this to get out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Oh. That was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Florit Sandbar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Uh. I'd like the raft there myself. I take the raft there myself, but after all the stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Uh. I know we could clear this, uh, clear up this meth. Meth. We could clear up this meth. <laughs> If someone could take me down river to Florit Sandbar on the raft. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, we don't need meth in Tears of the Kingdom, okay? There's enough crazy stuff here as it is. Alright. Um, I see what we need. A steering device. There we go. So he wants me to take this? Uh, I can take you. You'll take me to Florit Sandbar? Oh. Yeah. Thanks. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your offering uh, that. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Freakish. Okay, so as long as it's on the thing, it does the thing. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay, and then this is like a little... Oh, it's a little stool for him. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, there's a... Oh, I see the problem here. There we go. Oh, that's fun. Look at this. It's a little lopsided, but let's go. It goes a little slow, but this is cool. Just along the river bend. Um, whoa, how far are we going? Oh my gosh, ducks, excuse me. Sirs, madams, I can't steer this thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is so fun, an airboat. Just past those ruins, okay? Oh my gosh, this is cute. This is very wholesome. Look at us go. So does it deplete? Oh my gosh, it looks like it's depleting. I can see like the glowing port part of it is uh, going up. This is so relaxing, it's so soothing. Oh, I have it upside down. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. Well, <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> oh, I see. So I have the power. I have the power. All right, duly noted. The building would be overwhelming. The building is very uh, overwhelming for sure. Stop near the dock. Okay, I see a dock. This is very fun. Oh my god, this is terrible, terrible aim. There we go, we did it. Oh. No, I think to recharge it, we just have to like, we just use the battery thingy that we have in our inventory. I think, I tried that once. You just have to like, use the battery. Woohoo, we made it. Yes, we did. Ah. ah, you did a great job getting us here. Where did you learn to handle a raft like that? <laughs> I wouldn't say it was that great. I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Ah. Huh? Up in the sky, there's something, someone coming at us. Oh, I'm like that too. I like to hoard like all my items. Hey, it's Pen. <laughs> Finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our uh, find our facts when I saw you on this map. I figured you'd chase down a story, so I flew right down to help. But, uh, where are we? Huh? Oh my god, no way! Is this, is this, is this the crazy flower lady from Breath of the Wild? She's gonna be like, you're stepping on my flowers! <laughs> it is! <laughs> it's flower blanket! <laughs> What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants. All of them are precious. <laughs> you better watch out. You'll rue the day you trample on any of them. She's here. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Whoa, who's this? Ever met her before, partner? So sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to the Princess Zelda a way back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Picking them. I'm more worried about you kicking them. So is there a shrine still here? Wait a minute. Farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? <laughs> Drop a bomb. <laughs> That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Oh. oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of the special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, uh. but the princess... Well, they say she went missing. And all of our hard work was ruined when, oh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. Oh, well, the ruins probably ruined the flowers. I've been working so hard since then to try and make it all nice again. Uh... Really? This, that's what happened? Now I, th now to think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable's tools ah. back. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. Just go on ahead and take them with, uh, and take them with me if you're done. Oh, I'll just go ahead and take them with me. Okay, never mind. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Hmm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds like our princess... Uh, sounds just like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. <sighs> I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before, but it's just so hard on my own if only someone would help. Oh. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer, and here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also... Nope, that's all I got. <laughs> Uh, what's with the face? What? You said you'll help. I accepted your offer. Uh, what? I didn't say that. Uh, oh my gosh, she has to live with the crazy flower lady. Well, close enough. So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said and I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back up in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't talk my way out of this one. And she'd be, uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. Ah. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Oh my god, he just got suckered into doing a bunch of work. Um, yeah, oh. so the top, for sure freakish. One moment. Well, seems like we got those facts, uh, we wanted. And those two worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. E expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. Guys, oh. my reading skills are just, like, really bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess ah. Zelda. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh. I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Stinky. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. <laughs> so long. Okay, let's go back to Tracy since we unlocked a shrine there. What happens if I step in her flowers? Oh! Huh? What are you doing? That's what the flowers that's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. Oh. So listen to them and don't do such awful things. Who wants me to throw some fire in her garden? <laughs> Thanks, Freakish. Okay, so Freakish wants to know actually where the barbarian top was. Uh here. Um I think this cave. Here, by the castle. It was either here or here. Yeah, one, one of these two caves is where I found it. One of these two. Alright, let's do it. Uh? We are beautiful living things who never hurt anybody in this world. What kind of thoughtless monster if you stomped all over us? Uh. That's what the flowers would say. Please don't disturb the best flower bed in Hyrule. Ha! Uh -huh. 
I did it. I lit them on fire. What happens? What hap what's happening? What do you think you're doing? The only thing, uh, the only things it's okay to fire our way are smoldering gazes. What kind of maniac goes around setting fire to wildlife? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. So listen to them and don't do such awful things. Eh. It looks like nothing happens. What the fuck? I'm trying to talk to this guy. Oh my gosh, she won't let me touch anything. She's so rude. Well, I'm going to pick the flowers that are surrounding. So can I look at this fountain? All right. Well, anyways, it looks like there's nothing here. So let's go talk to Tracy. And maybe now Tracy has an outfit for me. All right. Let's see. Tracy. Darling. My friend. Hello, Link. Hard at work so early in the morning, I see. How's it going? Did you lose track of your partner? He should be at the Dueling Peaks. Okay, we know about that. The Yiga clan recently sent the paper a statement concerning Princess Zelda, you see. It definitely shook me at first. Okay, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seriously? Oh my god. She doesn't give me anything. Well, that's kind of poopy. So they want me to go to Dueling Peaks. That's like all the way over here. Um, I think we'll explore that later. I think we'll continue the Lucky uh, Gazette another time because I don't want to. I don't want to venture all the way over here. I want to do Hebra stuff. So let's deal with the Great Fairy side quest and then we'll go to the Rito Village. So the Great Fairy side quest was here. Um, Serenade to Misha, I think. Yes, the Great Fairy Misha is hiding in her flower. She wants the sound of a horn. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, you're stuck here. Oh, hey, did you come down here to rescue me? I did. I used to play horn with the stable trotters, it's true. What? The Great Fairy went into hiding, and so the troop is looking for me? Well, from bad to worse. Have you heard how Rito Village north of here is struggling to get enough food? It really breaks my heart. The Rito world was good to us when our music troupe was touring the kingdom. Oh. So when I heard about a fierce blizzard touring into, tearing into Rito Village, I couldn't just sit and do nothing. I slipped away from the troop and made for their village with supplies and songs to ease their burdens. Uh, Jurassic Mark, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh, Jurassic... Yeah, Mark. Like Jurassic Park. You know what's weird? By the way, welcome on in. I was watching Jurassic Park the other day. It's on Netflix Canada now. It's a really good movie. And it's still, you know what I love about it? It still holds up somehow. I think because they use like puppets and stuff. I got my wagon going at a quick trot on the road and then suddenly drove into this hole. I didn't used to be here. <sighs> the horse I was riding ran off somewhere and my cargo has spoiled. The only thing I have left is the wagon. Yeah, the original Jurassic Park. I love the Jurassic Park franchise. I didn't know that while I was stuck in this hole, the great fairy went into hiding and my troop reformed. It sounds like I should just get out of this hole and join back up with the stable trotters as soon as I can, oh. but I can't climb up the side of this hole. Not without my wagon, at least, and I'd rather not leave it oh. behind. I'm relieved that someone came to rescue me, but I hope you have a plan to free me from this hole. Oh, that's cool, awkward. Oh. Can't climb up the walls of this hole, and if I could, I wouldn't want to leave without my wagon. Mm. Pull my wagon out of the hole with me in it. Is that too much to hope for? Get in the wagon! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Roach, how are you? Welcome on in. How's your day going? Hundred percent Breath of the Wild is only nineteen hours? Are you talking like speed running? Okay, here we go. Yeah. I love how we don't even test by the way. I haven't even tested if this works. I'm like, yeah, just get in the wagon. It's fine. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Yeah, sure. You're in good hands oh, there, bud. We know that Shay makes the safest contraptions. 
I'm in the wagon. I'm ready to go. God bless your soul. Well, um... Oh, it activates everything. Well, how is it going to steer him? <laughs> like... Oh, I have to put the, the fan on the side so it goes sideways. <laughs> Be more careful. I'm so sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, we're going to want him to go sideways, right? So... We probably need a bit more power to go sideways. Let's do two of these. Like, why? I don't even know why this guy thought, you know, this would be a good idea. Like, are you fine? Should have tested this first. Oh my god, it's like something straight out of like the Wizard of Oz or something. That was pretty good. All right, let's try this. Get in the wagon, <laughs> my guinea pig. Yeah, it just looks Oi. sketchy AF. Alright. Bye! Have fun! Enjoy your ride! <laughs> oh my god, this is so fun. <laughs> okay, let's try with the two jets, because we only tried with one jet last time. Go. Let's do it. Let's go. We did it. It needed two jets angled, sort of like at a 45 degree. Mm. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. That was really sketchy, though. I got so nervous I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did, uh. but you did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. Come to think of it, if I hadn't made such a rash decision during the earliest days of the upheaval, a run and run off on my troop. Maybe things wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I collected to help feed Rito Village have all spoiled by now anyway. Oh. I should get back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates. That will do more good. For the time being, I should head to Snowfield Stable and play my horn for the Great Fairy oh. there. Oh, one more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up in my travels. It's the least I can do. Oh, nice. Three things of honey. Oh! <sighs> oh, no. There's a Korok up here, you guys. Where's your friend? We gotta send him flying. Oh, he's over there. I can help you. Yeah. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Okay, first I want that treasure chest, though. Um, that was through, like, a little, little doorway here. Yeah, up here. We're gonna send him flying. Just give me a second. Okay, so it was on uh, this. Which side was it on? Um, I think this side. I think this side. Yeah. All right, better be something good. I, but I doubt they expected a vi Ooh, let's go! This much Korok abuse? I know. I know it's really bad, but it's so fun. All right, guys. Who's ready to abuse a Korok? All right, friend. But why have this? Like, what's the point of that, though? So where's your friend, sorry? Where is he? Oh, straight ahead. Honestly, I don't even think we need the rocket, though. <laughs> like, because I have to go with him. What the frick? 
Omega. Stupid Korok. Okay. Let's put you on the nose, I guess. Right there. So what's the point of the, the rocket, though? Because realistically, I could just take the bird, right? And just ride the wind, because the Korok's lower than me. I don't think I really need the rocket. Oh, I do need the rocket to send him flying. I don't know, actually. I do need the rocket. Do I need the rocket? If you want to go fast. Okay, let's do it. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> to infinity. <laughs> what is wrong with this thing? It's like, oh man, I think you're going way too far. All right, here we go. Just attach him to the, I can't, I would, but I can't because the, the, the angle, he would just go up in the sky. All right, let's try him. Whee! What? How come that didn't work? Oh, frick, man. Give me the rocket. <laughs> We're going together, bro. It's you and me. I'm just gonna put the rocket, like, right... here. There. We just need a little boost. Alright, buddy. Let's go. You and me together. This is good. This is good. Perfect. This is fine. Yeet. We, we, it, that was good. That was enough. I'm just going to drop you right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, I think this is Mighty Thistle. Yeah, huh? There's my friend. The Challenger disaster? What's that? Yeah. yeah, they're so cute though. I love the way they sound. Anyways, there's Mighty Thistle here. I love that. Just drop his ass. I did. I'm so mean. <clears throat> For my compendium. Love that. Okay. Uh... Why do I hear the sound of a Korok thing spinning? Kind of crazy. Winter wing butterfly. Oh. There we go. Winter wing butterfly. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, silent princesses will gather all this stuff and then I guess we'll just uh, keep going yeah it's called the lucky uh, it's this as uh, this side quest the lucky clover um, gazette one uh, this one the potential princess sightings lucky clover gazette yeah so actually I'm pretty sure like you get prompted to do this when you talk to uh, Pura at the very beginning. She's like, oh, maybe people will find out where the princess is. Why don't you go to the Lucky Clover Gazette? Yes, exactly. So a couple quests in, you have to do a little bit, not too much, but a couple quests in, you do end up having to get this horse. It's really cool. All right, let's go talk to, um, well, let's go talk to Pen, since this is part of the Clover Gazette side. Oh my God, not another Korok. <laughs> I smell a story. 
I didn't uh, I didn't think you got more than what was advertised at the start. Yeah, there's so much in this game. It's crazy. Have you done a dungeon yet, Juju? I haven't done a dungeon yet. Dungeon yet. Do you have to revisit or does the bird tell you? Um, No, it's like right at the start. You talk to Pura and then she tells you to go to the Gazette. You have to go to a stable um, in, a, in, the, in the Hebrew region. There's a stable that starts the quest. You talk to Tracy and this bird. Hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of a half-eaten half, half eaten Hylian pine cones. Yeah, same, Juju. I haven't yet either. I've just been doing like a bunch of side quests. Oh, cool. <clears throat> hey, partner. You're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the in inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip. Or a tribe. Anyway, the stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Oh, that's cute. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. Mm. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Princess Zelda has been stealing all the goats. <laughs> the spirit of Princess Zelda is, Zelda is stealing the goats. <laughs> Why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who is taking care of the white goats? I'll look for more clues. Yeah. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Uh, this stable, I think, is the one that activates it. Um, it was... Oh, this one. Right here, right here, right here. This one. Right by Lake Tatori. Here, the Lucky Clover Gazette. So it wasn't a stable. You talk to Tracy in here, and then you have to go to all the stables to, like, find out more about Princess Zelda. It's right by the Ritos, because we were on our way to Rito Village. That was our plan. I wanted to start with Rito Village, and we never made it to Rito still. Like, I still haven't gone to this. So, yeah, it's just outside here, the Lucky Clover Gazette. This is where you start that side quest. All right, we've got to go find the White Goats. Okay, so let's actually continue speaking with everyone here so we can pick up more quests. Oh. Oh, this is Tork. Have you seen some white goats around here? Uh, I'd given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but it could have been the feed that drove them off. Oh. A recipe? Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to develop, uh, be developing healthy feed recipes. Yo, that's really cute. She makes, like, healthy food for the farm animals. That's adorable. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. <laughs> it's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. Oh. But a big storm came through one day, and it blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. Hmm. <laughs> actual goats <laughs> but what would make my white goat spit up the hylian pine cones and run off like that i don't know did they did they really hate princess zelda's recipe that much oh my god maybe she's a bad chef like me y'all i'm a terrible cook no cap i'm actually like really bad i follow a recipe and i still fuck it up somehow Oh, everyone's sleeping. Look, a rare thunderwing butterfly. So pretty. Oh, that must be a new butterfly. Welcome to our stable. I did it. I said it, right? What's that? This is like a weird boar. Sushi stream, yes. Well, actually, the sushi was pretty good. But th yes, I'm the chef that probably would have like... Uh, made someone sick with my raw tuna. Is something bothering you, young man? Oh ho, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster too? Reports say this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored. Oh, that's right. There was some people talking about a beast or something. This was like an occurring theme in all the stables. <sighs> it's been the talk of all the stables. I just said that. <laughs> they say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. Princess Zelda was traveling with it? I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? If I were younger, I'd hike all to all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumors. 
Ah. What's the Loki Clo uh, Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? Oh. There's an update on the unexpected equine escape from Snowfield Stable. That's me. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, anyways. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's just, she just gives you a recap on what you just covered. Nothing out of the ordinary. Ah. You. Oh, no. I mean, good evening. Yeah. Welcome to the Tambatha, Tapantha Bridge Stable. Uh, I fought the three-headed dragon. <laughs> Did you see the horses neigh at the same time? That was so funny. But I didn't. I didn't win. I didn't really get that close either. I mean, I got it down on the ground. I beat the three heads, but I didn't um, have the correct weapons. You're giving off swordsman vibes. Oh, because you are what? one. I see. Whoa, a real life swordsman. Yeah, right at the beginning of stream, I did it. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I got a little too excited there. Um, my name is Kenyo. I want to be a swordsman someday, so I'm doing all the work to bulk up. Nice to meet ya. I'm gonna be so buff someday that I won't even need a towing harness to carry lumber and stuff. Uh, I know about the towing harnesses. Yeah, I already have one. Wait a minute, you already have one? I do. Toy is a great. Once you've got one, you can have your horse tow a wagon or even building materials. Or even a Korok. <laughs> if there's something you want to move, you should put the towing harness on your horse. Go to the counter and ask to change your horse's gear. Yeah. She's basically, or he, they're saying something about oh. building, like, uh, yeah. wagons and stuff like that. Alright then, I'll take them. Oh. oh, do you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we are caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village to the northwest. Uh. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're fortunate the kind folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Oh. Don't mention it, really. The Rito have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. I didn't beat it. I got close, but I didn't beat it. I think I might have answered that, by the way. My brain's, like, broken. You let me know if there's something else you need, all right? I can arrange to have it sent here and then pack it up for you to carry home. <sighs> Words cannot express my gratitude. That was cute. All right, so we're supposed to look for some white goats. The only thing left behind when they fled were uneaten Hylian pine cones. Uneaten Hylian. Did the goats really run off the food? Where did they run to? So, does he want me to go find the goats? Is that is that what we're doing? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're supposed to follow the, the path. Oh, okay, wait. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Follow the pine cones. Yes. Thank you, T-Blade. I mean, I might as well pick up the pine cones along the way. <gasps> You've been fighting Lynels. Let's go. I ended up finding a Lynel. Um, I did try to fight it, but I just, again, I don't have good enough weapons at the moment. Okay, let's see where this leads us. This way. I found one in the snowy area. Up on a mountain. It was very scary. This way? Alright. I probably have to herd the goats and stuff though. Like how am I going to get them back? Where do these little little goats go? I have to say this is a very wholesome side quest. We're just off finding some goats. <laughs> oh, there they are. But now what? Oh, there's a bottle. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> They have little bells. And look at their floof. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. <laughs> look at them munching. Oh my god. They're so cute. Oh, those are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. Oh my god. They are so precious. 
They're so cute. Bah. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them? Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. I was thinking of killing them. <laughs> They're so cute. Mm. They have like little bangs and little freaking bells. Mm. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone whole. I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of that awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. <laughs> the goat! Jaggy, how are you? The real goat. Oh, well. Well, come on in. Can I get a shout out for Jaggy, please? I can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care now. This is the most wholesome Bye. side quest I've ever done. No you, Jaggy. No you. I saw everything, partner. Ah. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I don't know. I don't really think anything of it. Yo, let's go, Jaggy. Um, I did find a Lionel and I did fight it, but unfortunately, I don't. I my weapons only go up to like twenty, like fifteen, twenty at the highest, so I really didn't have the correct weaponry. Huh. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Mm. We've worked together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. I wonder how many there are. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh my god, she sends it to me! Let's go! Finally! A good sleep for a rainy day. I feel like I just found a shiny. <laughs> like that was a shiny reaction. A good sleep for a rainy day. Small dimples on the fingers act as suction cups giving you good grip on wet slippery surfaces. Oh, oh my god. It's pretty rare gear that'll make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll still help you reach new heights, partner. All right, I'm going to hurry back to headquarters and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Bye. So long. Worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it. It looks so cool. <laughs> Ooh. So now I can climb uh, when it's slippery out. That's kind of fun. Yeah. All right, let's head back to the stable. Um, there was a Korok there, so we can go do that Korok. And then, um, oh, the shrine. We should do the shrine. Actually, just so I can unlock a travel point. Combat training. We already did a shrine like this. And then I think I did... Uh, a main quest in the depths to unlock my camera. That's pretty much it. Sith, how are you? Welcome on in. How are we still doing combat training? I find that interesting. It's weird. How are you doing, Sith? No. Ah. I don't know what that is, but no. <laughs> attack with the bow. Equip a bow to attack enemies so far, uh, far, far away. Just in case, just in case, uh, Gintakus. Hiding out at work. Oh no. Well, hopefully work goes by quickly for you. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Do not fear. Oh, my bow broke. 
Ugh, everything is so frail in this game. Where's my bow? a freaking tutorial i'm sort of shrine hunting and doing towers along the way but i'm doing but i'm doing main quests yet yeah that's kind of like what i'm doing i'm doing a lot of shrines and some side quests and like exploring pretty much but i think i really would like to go to the sky i feel like i'm not going up there enough so i think that's something i'd like to do we'll see okay i got everything i needed i think all right, we're going to charge your chest. Oh, Amiibos. You know what, Blue Ranger? I actually want to get... Um, okay, so I have Amiibos. But I, I don't want to open them. Like, out of their boxes. Because I, I don't know. I'm afraid to open them. So I was thinking of buying those, like, things you can get on Amazon where you get all those cards. Um, and it's, like, a bunch of cards. Just the card. And it's, like... 20 30 dollars or something like that i might do that because i just really don't want to open them i love looking at them in the box i have the majora's mask one that can give me that really nice paraglider and it's like i just don't want to open it. it it's a collector's item at this point like it's worth 70 80 dollars and if i tear it open it won't be so it's i don't know and also i don't have the one for epona and i really would like epona so hey look you guys, that mural's back. Remember from Breath of the Wild? I wonder if it's the shrine quest still. All right, so we did the shrine. Okay, guys, we're gonna be nice to the Korok today. No worries, it was very lovely meeting you. Hopefully we see you again uh, for the next stream. Okay, you guys want to see what people were doing? Which is really funny. Wazzy, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Here, look. This is what people were doing. Dorime. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. So good. The great Korok Korok affix. <laughs> oh my god. So cruel. I have your friend. <laughs> Gosh, this is, I'm going to hell. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop you. Oh, geez. That was my bad. That was my bad. Apologies. Here's your friend. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It makes me laugh so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's teleport out of here. And, um, the Great Fairy. Yes. Serenade for Nisha. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Okay. Uh, there we go. Hello, hello. I know you, traveler. We've had a delightful development. Look. I mean, listen, it's 
Eustace. He and his horn are back in our troop. It's heartbreaking to think of the poor fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito Village. But I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle. Eustace's horn will blow the stable trotters back on course. Now that Eustace is here, we can bring the sound of his horn to the Great Fairy. It would be wonderful if we could go and perform for her right away. But of course, there's something holding up the show. Please don't tell me it's the dragon. Oh, okay, good. Our breezer's roof is broken, so we'd be at the mercy of the elements. Just look at all the snow falling. We might fall ill in such bad weather. How could we perform at our best then? I did try to attach a roof to breezer. Alas, I couldn't reach high enough to do more than set up some posts. Okay, so we just have to put a roof on it. Okay, we can fix that. There. Cute. There you go. Uh, I'll take you. Alright, let's go to the Great Fairy. Well, I did make a roof. What? Oh, it needs to be a bit bigger, I think. It doesn't cover all the way. Wazzy, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. You getting far in this game? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I don't know. I'm doing a lot of side quest progress. Alright, that seems to cover the whole thing. Doesn't look very nice, but it's fine. <laughs> Wonderful! Now that Ibiza has a roof, I'd very much appreciate a ride. We're all aboard! The road to the Great Fairy starts by going around from the left and climbing a little ways up around the mountain. I'll leave the rest to you, good sir. Oh, we need Kratos again. It's a really good game, honestly. I'm so happy with ah. it. That's what I'm doing with the memories. Yeah, that's yeah. Aww. I've done a couple of those tiers, and uh, that's basically it. A couple tiers, and I'm doing the Lucky Clover Gazette right now to figure out where Zelda is. Oh. Oh, it just lets so the lurk basically just lets me know that um, it's for people who Ooh. like want to still say that they're in the stream, but they went to go do stuff like dishes or laundry or like. Maybe they have plans, oh. but they're oh. leaving the stream open. That kind of thing. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. So, like, you're not actively chatting sort of thing. Welcome. Welcome back, DK. Oh. All right. These quests are so wholesome, honestly. All right, let's go to the Great Fairy. Yeah, that's the thing. You know what, Fox, is I haven't been to a lot of stables. Or stables, oh my God. Towns, I've been to a lot of stables. Towns, I haven't been to a lot of towns. Honestly, I haven't been to any towns, actually. I've only been to the first one at the very beginning. Where you meet Pura. This way. Oh yeah, I've been to like five or six or something. I've been to a lot of stables, foxes, like a ton. Way too many. But I haven't been to a single village. The only village I've been to was the first one that you first, w where you meet Pura, uh, Pura at the very beginning there. We're here! Oi! The Great Fairy! The Stable Trotters have arrived! Yeah, yeah. We've done it! You have our thanks! You've taken us right to where we needed to be. Alright everyone, no time to dawdle! Strike up the band, our audience is the Great Fairy herself! This part's so cute. Dun, 
This is so cute. This is such a cute way to go about getting the fairies. So much better than paying them rupees. Ooh, I like this one. I like the purple. I'm here for it. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Yahoo Aww. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the great fairy has returned to us. This, this is one of the greatest days of my life. Uh. The great fairy herself enjoyed my humble horn playing. What a day! She big lady. What a divine presence. What splendor. I will remember this moment all my life. We can't hang around all day. We must return to the stable to share the good news. Yaya! Yeah, yeah. Thank you again, which leaves only your reward. Now, now, don't be shy. Ooh, a silver rupee. Yeah, yeah. So nice. Oopsie, that's left the old wallet pretty light, but there's, that's no excuse to skimp on our thanks. A clear conscience is worth every yeah, rupee. Yeah. The captivating Misha is now at peace, but she wasn't the only great fairy shut away in a flower oh. bud. That's why the show must go on to the next great fairy's hiding place. Oh, yes, I'll be borrowing this horse so that I can get to the next destination. Wait, what? He's stealing my horse? Oh, my God. Thank God I didn't use uh, Bijou. I mean, he said he'd return it to a stable, so probably, like, when I go back to the stable, the horse will be there. But now that means I have to go back on foot. Or I can just travel. So you're the one who arranged those soothing sounds for me. Would I would have liked to be released by someone bigger. I'm sorry, what? Ooh. Girl, I'm a short king, okay? It's not about the size, all right? Please. It's a little lot like you is fine too, I suppose. She's oh. shaming me for my size. It seems the world is not so corrupted as I thought. To thank you for opening my eyes, I can enhance your clothing. But of course, I would require the necessary materials to do it. Ooh. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll enhance this for now. Alright. Got that up. Um, and we'll enhance one more thing as well, I think. What, how do I enhance this? Oh, I need winter wing butterfly. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to fight a Lionel to increase this more. Oh my gosh. Blue Boko horns. An Arrokuda eyeball. Oh, okay, very interesting. Sticky lizard. Cool. Mwah. I love the kiss she gives you. All right, so I guess should we go to the sky? I love this fairy. I love her like aesthetic. It's beautiful. Great Fairy Fountain of Hebra. Um, I don't know why I put a heart here. It's kind of silly. Okay, so, um, let's see. We can either go to the sky, or we can try and uncover a few more of these treasures as well. The Misko side quest. Um, yeah, let's, let's just see what this is about. Finish that off, and then let's go to the sky. The four X's on the map could be kind of interesting. <clears throat> Light from a torch in the hand will not be extinguished as long as it remains dry. Torch is useful. Paraglider. Going to Hitino Village would also be pretty amazing because we can um, unlock like probably new clothes and stuff like that. Okay. Mm, so we are going right... Uh, this way? On the path this way. Yeah. So there should be like a cave or something here for us? And then maybe we'll go to the sky? I don't know. I don't know, there's so much to do! Ugh! 
I get so lost in this game. You know what it is? Like, you unlock a side quest, and then you just kind of want to complete that side quest. Oh, I thought I've been to this cave already. I've been in this cave. Apparently, I guess I missed some treasure in here. But I have been in here. There's a like like in here. Two like likes, actually. <laughs> Um. Ooh, this thing. Oh my God. Okay, we got one. Come on, hit me. Can we get him? Let's go. All right, what's he dropping? Oh, he dropped a treasure. What's in it? Soldier's shield. Oh, but my stuff's full. Um, you know what? Let's drop a... Yeah, actually, I'm gonna drop a couple things. So I have some... I have, like, shitty shields. Let's drop, um... This one. Actually, I want to equip this one as well. A flamethrower shield. It's pretty cool. Oh, now I know why I didn't have it equipped. Because I hate how it looks on my back, but it's fine. All right. You know what? I've been in here. I must have forgotten to use my ascend ability because I've been in here already. And then I couldn't climb this, this rock formation. What is this? Oh, that, that glowfish. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, shit. Wait, do they drown? Oh, it wasn't deep enough for him to drown. That was crazy. Ooh, a tireless frog. That's new. Cool. All right. Um, there should be a treasure in here somewhere. Is this a coral? Yeah. I think so. Hmm. Some bomb flowers over there. Oh wait, this is like a little cave. Wait, hold on. It's like a little cave entrance. Look at that, because there's mushrooms behind this waterfall. Oh, oh, we found the treasure. Let's go. Bomb flowers. What else is in here? Bright bloom. This must be another set of uh, armor or clothing. Misko's treasure is what it is. Oh shit, the climbing gear. Heck yeah. Dang, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, you know what? I think I wanna do the, the Misko's treasure side quest. That's pretty good. Okay, let's send out of here. Oh, it's right here. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Okay. Throw a bomb. A little bomb flower. Honestly, Quiver, I've done so much exploring. It's crazy. I just keep unlocking so many side quests. That explorer is terrible at his job. I agree. How did you not find the entrance? Just the, like, I thought maybe it was um, a trick entrance. Like, it was probably far away, but no. It's literally right here. Let's use, a, uh, let's use a stick. I love it, Jaggy. I'm here for I'm living for this level of side questing. 
It's so good. Is there a troll in here? Hmm. No, we need like an axe or something. There we go. Okay. Oh! Them's be bad guys. Uh, we should totally light them on fire. Um, let's see. Let's get a different weapon. Mm -hmm. This one, I guess. Yo, Foo, how are you? Welcome on in. You know what? Let's just throw a bomb. Yeah. You know what? That was a waste. That was a waste of a bomb. I thought it would kill them, but it just attached their heads. That was silly. Because the problem is once their heads detach, you can light what on fire. Oh, the, um, those, those vines. Just trying to get things working. Oh no, sorry to hear. Things are being annoying for you. That sucks. Oh. Hmm. The vines. Oh, okay. Well, not here. I'm too close. So I think I'll just slice this one. Oh, there's the treasure. I think that's the treasure. That's definitely not the treasure. No. That is definitely not the treasure that I was looking for. Oh, maybe it's up here. No, wait, what? I didn't go up here. Let's try this. As it should have been, really. Remember when the, the revealed Breath of the Wild people were all, the world is empty. What are you doing, Nintendo? So they threw a little bit of before launch. But yeah, this one, there's like, the world is so, you know what's funny? The world is so alive. I complained about this in Breath of the Wild, and I said how it just felt so like dead and empty and sad. Oh. Ew, he's like pooping on me. Ew. Like you're gross. <laughs> Ew! There's like poop and stones on me. Oh my gosh. This life like is weird. Yeah, lots of folks ever. Yes, I like it a lot better. No, 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 no! Everything oh. fell. Dang it. Okay, there's, I don't think there's any items in here, so let's just go get whatever this is. So far, all I found were shirts. I found the barbarian shirt and the climber shirt, so. Oh, rubber armor, cool. Yeah, maybe refresh. More combat? How many training shrines are there? Why do we keep getting combat training shrines? I've already done one of these before. That's weird, huh? Hmm. Mm. Mmm. That sounds really good, Cress. Mmm. Nice one for... Yeah, I'm a big wine and cheese girl, definitely. Like, for me, I love cheese, all cheeses, but it depends on what I'm eating and what I'm drinking. I like to pair them. 
That's why I say like applewood smoked cheddar for me is a pretty good all arounder. Okay, I don't want to throw anything too good. So let's throw uh, like this. There we go. Because um, it goes with pretty much anything. It goes with like white wine, like any white wine really. It goes with most red wines. Whereas like certain things like Camembert and Brie only goes with like specific types of wine, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes they, they clash. So yeah. I like goat cheese too, surprisingly. Goat cheese is pretty good, pretty pog. Like all the flavored ones. Hi, Dill's cat. Oh, Dill's kitty's here. Walking across the keyboard. <laughs> Weapon rack to throw. I know. Oh, maybe they did. Meh, it's fine. I ended up throwing items I didn't really need, so it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> there was one. Dang it. Yes, true. True, Mark, true. It is in fact the Koroks, and we are the ones causing the tears. <laughs> the shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Bro, are we doing the master sword trials right now? Like, what is this? I am getting PTSD right now. <laughs> What? Uh, I think we found the Master Sword Trials. Or something. What is this shit? <laughs> Perhaps the Tears of the King were the friends you made along the way. Right? Oh. Hmm. Oh. 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 How did you see me? Oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Nope. How do you fuse? What? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop it. Now we're fighting. How do I get one of them at a time, though? Fight me. Do it. Whatever. I just hit you hard. There we go. Smack! That was an interesting little trial. The sequel to Stick, Stick 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we could take. They weren't very strong. <clears throat> I did not do that very stealthily, but... So it looks like when they're not paying attention, one hit with an arrow to the head does them in. But because I they not they noticed me, senpai, um, that didn't work out. Wait, where did all the charge items go? Well, that's kind of rude. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm wasting that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Is there a tre treasure chest? No. I thought maybe there was a chest or something. All right, grab this item. A spring shield. A shield used by Zonai and made of Zonai. It lowers the energy consumption of an attached Zonai device. That's kind of 
cool. I guess. So I could probably put like a, a flamethrower on it and then it doesn't use as much like uh, energy, I suppose. That's what that means. I think. Oh my gosh, guys, we're unlocking so many, um, what's it called? Shrines. All right, we're going to do a tower and then we're going to go to the sky. And we'll spend some time in the sky. I really haven't been up there at all and I feel like we should explore it. So the sky was the tower. Oh, I think that was the tower. Like what are all the good fusions? I never seem to fuse anything good. Oh, oh no. This is where it ends chat. This is it. You guys said rubies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rubies. Oh my God, I'm just trying to adventure. Where's your rubies? Oh my gosh, the organization system is so stupid. I'm scared. I want to go home. Flurry him? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this thing? I did. I did. Oh my god, that was insane. What was that about? Oh my gosh. Oh. That was crazy. A spear whose ominous appearance strikes fear into hearts. It is said to cost its bearer a part of their soul because its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was nuts. Oh. Oh, that was insane, you guys. That was no freaking joke. Like, what was that even? <laughs> wow. Gloom spear with zonite. My heart is still broken. The Demon King's bow. The higher your maximum number of hearts the more its attack power increases. What? 
the demon king. Did I win? Did I did I beat the game? Look how long this stick is. Did I beat the game? Did I win? Is that it? We beat Ganon. Oh, that was it? Cool. Ah! Oh! Oh my god, that was a booby trap. You guys, it was a booby trap. <gasps> Wait, can I fuse with that? Wait a minute. <laughs> ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> Trick you. Nice. That was pretty cool. Um, we just have this tasty little omelet here. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole enemy fort for this tower. Is that it? They're all sleeping. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a big boss one. Wait, what's up with that one? Oh my gosh, I had rock armor and shit. Oh my gosh, there's a big boss boy over there. Oh, Jesus Lord. I don't have a bow! Oh my god, I gotta get out of here for a second. Oh no, I'm right of stamina! <sighs> okay, hold on. I don't have a bow! Urgh. Uh, Mondays I'm alright. <laughs> hold on. I got so far, I don't wanna die here. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Uh, hmm. How are we gonna fight this guy? That's the Kool-Aid man version of the Moblins. <laughs> yeah, he just comes storming through. He's so crazy. All right, let's see. Gotta be a bit strategic here. Did they go back to bed? Oh my gosh. I think we can single sneak strike this guy. All right, guys, we're doing it. Okay, we're gonna get this guy at the top here too. Just a little cheeky sneak strike for him as well. One moment of your time. All right, who, who heard me? Oh, that missed. Oh yeah, come here, big boy. What, how did I miss? How come his stick?
stick is so much bigger than my stick, by the way. I fused with a giant weapon, too. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> welcome back, Dill. Welcome back. Hmm. Don't make me do this again. It's not about stick size, it's about, you know, how you use it. All right, get the next one. Then we just gotta beat Big Boss Boy. Get a little quieter. Ah. See, he wakes up, that's so silly. How come I can't? You know what? How come I can't, uh... Wait, you know what? Oh, he didn't drop his weapon! Stop, that's so stupid! Oh my gosh. Oh my god, are you serious right now? Oh, it locked me in! Oh my god. For real, this is a boss battle. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. Yeah, well, I was trying to light up the ball. Oh, blue boss vocal horn. Woo! Fuse attack power 16, an axe-shaped horn with a band to identify it as belonging to a leader. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. That's pretty poggers. Um, what I was gonna say is, um, I tried hitting those, those bombs. Um, and it wasn't working. Take that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just realized what I was about to do. Blackened crab. Cool. Very cool. We win. What's my prize? Oh my gosh. Stop it. Okay, you can lift the bombs. That is genius. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. That's really cool. So you can lift the bombs uh, with your fuse power and launch it. That's pretty smart. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Like, um... I really gotta try, like, my fuse ability more often. Like, at least activate it and see what it does. I didn't know you can lift them. I was trying to hit those bombs with my arrow, and it wasn't working. So, yeah. Anyways, okay, new sky tower. Let's go. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Mm -mm. I love the sky towers. That's yummy. I love roasted garlic. It's so good. Here we go. What 
the Sky Islands here. There's a tier over there. I'm, we're not going to do that today, but yeah. Is that the Colosseum? That is the Colosseum and the Great Plateau. I wonder if there's a Lionel in there. But yeah, that's it, you guys. That's it. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you all for hanging out, and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much.